Hello, my name is Ace of Clubs, and today I will be teaching you how to purr the purr. Purr the purr is a very hard skill to master, but after this tutorial, you will be able to purr the purr like the likes of Shocky, Fat McGee, and Shrimpy. The first thing about purr the purr, which is really important, is refills. Refills are very important to be quick with your enemies. Now I will show you a very, very slowed down clip of me refilling so that you guys can try and copy. The second thing about Purva Pur, which is extremely important and in fact was discovered by the ancient Mayans, was in fact your texture pack. Texture packs, believe it or not, really enhance your purr per skills. Simply to change your texture pack is download it and you will find it in the report packs folder. Simply go in here and I will show you a good example of a texture pack. Here I have the PvP Dojo texture pack. Simply add this to your texture pack area. As you will clearly see when the fucking thing loads, my whole inventory changes into Dojo Awesome Master Dragon Slayer. Now, as you will clearly see, the SOP is extremely different in this case. Whereas in fact the SOP here is in fact not SOP at all. This SOP is in fact Magical Unicorn Piss. Magical Unicorn Piss in fact heals many more hearts than Nordenry SOP. I really recommend that you get the Purva Pur Dojo pack in order to be able to use this magical unicorn piss. This even can heal up to 7 hearts with one sop. The third thing about Purva Pur, which is extremely important, is to have big subs. As you can clearly see right here, I have a very big sub. Big subs are very important in Purva Pur. Because when you do purr purr, these big subs will come up to you and in fact give you more unicorn piss and look after you. Right here, this big sub, as you can clearly see, twerks for the pure reason of protecting me. A good big sub will in fact protect you through your whole life of purr purr. The fourth and perhaps the very last thing which is extremely important with purr purr is in fact your kit choice. As you can clearly see, there is a ton of kits in the whole Purva Pur community. These are in fact just the amount of kits in Purva Pur Dojo. But right here I'm going to show you some of the best Purva Pur kits and one of my favourites, the Kangaku kit. The Kangaku kit is extremely important for Purva Pur. I will now go demonstrate how the Kangaku kit works in Purva Pur. As you can clearly see, I am now in the main battlefield of Purva Pur, and there are many souls out here who would like to kill a Purva Pur master like myself. Now, I will demonstrate how to use the Kangapu kit. Simply, you can get around very easily with this kit, which is extremely good in Purva Pur. I will now show you an amazing example of where to use this. I will go over to this young Indian fellow and start hitting him. As you can clearly see, I am extremely bad and lagging. Therefore, the Kangapu kit, or the Kangaku kit, can get you away very easily in order to make a very quick drop there and then in fact refill like a purva per master. As you can clearly see, someone has purva per hunted me down. I will now go into combat with them. Now the Kangapu kit is absolutely fantastic if you cannot un uh, fight the purva per master and you can just simply Kangaku away. Now this is a beautiful kit because now this person will very eventually get so pissed off with you they will smash their keyboard up and kill both their parents. So therefore the Kangaku kit is a very very effective kit and you should use it all the time. Hopefully now you will be able to become a Purva Purr Master. 
If this amazing tutorial helped you to be good or better at Purva Pur, please leave the video a big fat thumbs up. And remember folks, you learned your Purva Pur skills first from Ace of Clubs. Goodbye.